Hello everyone, welcome to Web4Tech. Tech. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install the recovery and unlocking your bootloader for the OnePlus 3T. So let's begin. Before we go ahead and do anything, I'll make sure the links are posted in the description so you could download the folder and have the same toolkit that I'll be using in this guide. The toolkit will work for the OnePlus 3 and also the 3T. So let's start. Once you download the folder, you'll it'll come up as a zip and you'll have to extract it and make its own separate folder and this is what I did so the separate folder is here after the extraction so we'll go ahead and open the folder files and inside the folder you'll see all these files we'll first click on the oneplus 3 and 3t toolkit and double click on it it'll bring up a little command section here let it load and then we'll press any key to continue so I'll go ahead and do that and it'll break up a yellow menu now you will have to select number two we're gonna go ahead and install the drivers first so press two and click enter it will verify and run as administrator and the drivers will begin to install these are the official drivers for oneplus so like when you plug in your phone to unlock the oem bootloader we'll need these drivers once the drivers are done finish go back to that same exact folder and rerun that toolkit again so double click on that toolkit and open it up again uh, I'm doing this installation on Windows 10 by the way so if you have any confusion it's on Windows 10 press any key to continue again and before we go ahead and select any other option we'll have to enable the developer option on the phone so I'll show you how to do that in order to move further for installation of the recovery and unlocking the bootloader, we have to enable the developer options. So let me show you how to do that. We'll go to our phone, make sure the phone is connected to the computer right now before we enable it. And you can see my phone is connected to my laptop that I'm doing the installation on. Um, I'll go to settings. Once I get to settings, I'll go ahead and look for about phone and scroll down all the way to bill number. Once you get to the bill number, Tap five to seven times, just keep tapping. And this will enable the developer options. So once it's done, once you tap it five to seven times, the enable option will become available for us to use. So go back to the settings. And now in setting under the system menu, you will see a new option, which will say developer options. So click that. And all you do is turn it on and it will say allow development settings. Just click okay. And then you will also make sure USB debugging is on under the debugging section. So click debugging and make sure it's on. And it will connect to the computer. And you will have an option like if I do this and do this again, it will have an option where it say allow USB debugging, but also make sure you select always allow from this computer. So when we do the further process of the commands, it will remember the computer, it will remember the phone and the computer and do the installation automatically. So make sure this is the main thing, always allow from this computer. And then the last major step under the developer option is allowing OEM unlocking. If we do not have this enabled, the command will not run and it will not unlock the bootloader. So make sure this is the main step. Make sure you turn it on and it will ask you for the pin. So I'll go ahead and put my pin and then it will say warning device protection features will not work on this device so yeah we're basically unlocking it so enable it and once it's enabled this is the main step once it's enabled we'll have the access from the command to unlock the bootloader so now we'll go back and show you the process from the command prompt so now we have the developer options enabled USB debugging is enabled and also OEM unlock is enabled we'll go ahead and go back to the toolkit run the toolkit again if you had it open just leave it open and we'll go ahead and press any key and go to the yellow menu option again and look for option number three and type it which will allow us to unlock the bootloader so we'll press enter after three and once you press enter you'll get number one which will unlock the bootloader type number one and then click enter and it will give you a warning we will say like make sure your phone is backed up because obviously it's going to wipe all the data on the phone and before even in starting this process, I recommend backing up all your data, all your contacts and pictures so you don't lose them. And then now I'm going to go ahead and press any key to continue. So this will do the process itself and you will see 
stuff happening on the phone and on the phone once you get to the phone it will say unlock the bootloader and you would select yes so what we're gonna go ahead and do is press the menu uh, press the volume up button to select or select the yes option so we're gonna go ahead and press yes with the volume up button so we're gonna go ahead and press volume up button and then go to the make sure so going down and up so make sure the volume up button makes you go up and volume down button goes you makes you go down so we'll go ahead and get it to select yes and then we'll press the menu button to press enter the camera button so this camera button will make it enter so we're gonna go ahead and press it and it did the process let it do it itself automatically and on your screen once the process is done you will see it here it will say please wait so that was in the process and once it finishes and it's successful it will show you okay so it passed and one plus the device will run a swiping on the phone and let that do it itself because all your data is going to be gone and the bootloader is unlocking and the process will do the process like the end time it will show here it finished so you successfully finished devicing unlocking so now we have the bootloader unlocked so the phone restarted the process did itself automatically the bootloader got unlocked so like don't touch anything it will do it itself it will reboot itself and everything will happen itself so you don't have to touch it once it restarts and everything is finished it will bring up a new setup because your phone got wiped so I'll go ahead and do the setup again let's go uh, set up as new device I'm gonna search my Wi-Fi uh, don't use any Wi-Fi right now I don't want to use any Wi-Fi I'll finish this in setup uh, where for tech good and let me finish the setup let's skip skip anyway I don't want to set that up right now so and disable all this option this is just a quick setup I'm doing so I could show you how to install the recovery after this all is set other than that so it's back to stock oxygen OS and what we're gonna go ahead and do is um, re-enable the developer options and USB debugging so we could install the recovery now so let me go ahead and go back to the back phone go to the build number tap it like five times see you're a developer now and once it's enabled go back to the developer options enable it and make sure USB debugging is on and allow it and always allow from this computer make sure the phone is connected to the computer and other than that it's good and this should be already enabled because it's already unlocked so we don't have to worry about that now anymore and now we'll show you how to install the recovery so now we have the bootloader unlocked and it's ready for the recovery to get installed I'll show you how to install the TWRP recovery on the OnePlus 3T so we'll go back to that same folder where we had the unified toolkit and run it again and it's gonna load itself up and we're gonna press any key to continue and it will bring back to that same yellow menu now what we're gonna do is look for option number six which will say flash boot TWRP recovery so we'll go ahead and type six in there and press enter and then make sure what we want to do is flash the recovery so we're gonna enter number one and then we're gonna press enter and then it will say flashing recovery please continue so we'll go ahead and continue and press enter and it's gonna do its process again so the phone will restart and the device will do itself the process don't need to touch anything it will do the process and the recovery will get installed so it will say finish time and please continue to boot into the recovery so it will so it's pretty much it's done done flashing to the recovery have fun press any key to boot into the recovery so we'll go ahead and press any key and once you press the key it will download the boot image and it'll, the phone will put itself automatically in the bootloader and it will do the job and on the phone it's loading right now and that's about it so the recovery as you can see on the phone is it finished and it got installed and everything is set to go so we have completely successfully installed the bootloader unlocked the bootloader and installed TWRP on it other than that there's nothing else we have to do 
And for the next video, I'll be showing you how to install Linux OS on OnePlus 3T and the overview of it. So until then, take care. I'll see you guys. Bye.